From the first day I stepped into a classroom to teach 21 years ago, I knew I had found the right profession for myself. Teaching, by the way, is not dispensing knowledge. It's inspiring people to become curious enough to teach themselves. Isn't that what doctors are supposed to do, enable the patient to heal himself? The word inner motivation is an important one to me as a teacher. In other words, what must I say, do, or how should I be in order to ignite the passion of a student to pursue learning interimly and his or her mission in life ultimately? And how do you do that? Well, for one thing, it means you have to have absolute respect for student ideas and for what they bring to the discussion. You must also show them by your actions what it means to be a passionate learner. In reading literature, for example, imparting inner motivation means validating the interpretation of the student, not cramming down your throat some expert opinion of what the short story means. If, as a teacher, I can suppress my own egotistical idea that I know the truth, then I give my students the chance to test their opinions and follow those intellectual threads inward to their own self-discovery, with guidance, of course. This is inner motivation. And it's why I call myself a teacher every day. I'm W.J. O'Reilly.